This question number four of IIT Jam Economics 2021 paper. Let's go ahead and check what this question has to say. Ideally, it is not of any subject. It's a very, very basic, uh, you know, logical question that they have asked. Let's see the question. You have a budget of 4,000 and you would like to purchase LPG cylinders from a local seller who charges 50 per cylinder. The seller has a subsidy scheme by which if you return the empty cylinder purchased from him, you will get a refund of 20 per cylinder. So please see, you have 4,000 with you. And each cylinder is for 50. And when you, you know, you buy cylinders, you empty those cylinders. And after emptying those cylinders, you get give those back and you get 20 rupees back. So see what I'm going to do. Step, you know, this is just going to go Stepwise. So I had 4000 with me. Each cylinder costed me 50. So 4000 by 50 is going to be 80 cylinders. I went ahead and on these 80 cylinders, I got 20 per cylinder. So I got back 1600 rupees. I used these 1600 rupees again to buy cylinders and I was able to buy 32 cylinders. I emptied those cylinders and these 32 cylinders I refunded it. So I got back 640 rupees. I used these 640 rupees to buy cylinders. Now here is where the trick really starts. This 640 cannot be completely used. Do we agree? You know, 640 is basically 600 plus 40. 600 can be completely used to buy 12 cylinders. But I would be left with this 40 from which I cannot buy a cylinder because the cylinder costs me 50 rupees. So the maximum I can do is buy these 12 cylinders and save these 40 rupees with me. So what I do, I buy 12 cylinders. Move. And I save this 40. On the 12 cylinders that I have bought, I get them back to the person and I get rupees 240 back as a refund. But 40 rupees I had saved. So I add this 40 and I'm having 280 with me now. Again, this is not completely divisible by 50. The nearest that is there is 250 plus 30. From 250, I can buy five cylinders. But I will have to save these 30 rupees. So I go ahead. I buy 5 cylinders. But I don't use the remaining 30 rupees. Right? Again, I refund, get a refund of 20 per cylinder. So I get 120. I have saved 30 rupees. So it's, this is 100. I have saved 30 rupees. So 130. 130 is not completely divisible by 50. The max I can do is divide 100 by 50 and save 30. When I, you know, use this 100, I get two cylinders. And I'm able to save this 30. Rupees. On these two cylinders, I get a refund of 40 rupees. I had saved 30 rupees. So I have 70 with me. Again, 70 is not divisible by 50. 
So I use 50 rupees and I save 20 rupees. From this 50 rupees, I buy one cylinder. And I save the remaining 20. So on this one cylinder, I get a refund of 20 rupees. 20 I had saved. I have 40 rupees, but I cannot go further because I already have, I mean, one cylinder costs me 50 rupees and I just have 40 rupees. So I stop here. How many cylinders could I buy? 80 plus 32, 112 plus 12, 112 plus 12, 124 plus 5, 129 plus 2, 131 plus 1, 132. So the answer to this question is B. I will be able to buy 132 cylinders.